also uh, is in the top 40, under 40 uh, in Oklahoma. And uh, he has a multitude of businesses and a lot of great information to tell you. We got a surprise and she showed him a little bit early. And so he uh, was nice enough to come in for the previous class and talk with him for a little while. So I've got to hear him and he can tell you you're in for a real treat. So uh, please help me welcome Clay Clark. All right, does everybody have a note-taking device? Okay, um, kind of today, I want to just get an idea here. How many people in the room would like to start a business at some point? That's something that you aspire to do? Okay, who here does not want to start a business at any point? Not your thing, you're just kind of here hanging out. It's okay, okay. All right, it was okay. Um, and as far as people here that are wanting to start a business, does anybody here, by show of hands, who knows what form of business they want to get into? Maybe what industry or what niche do you want to do? Okay. The phrase to remember is it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. Hamada, hamada. Marinate. <laughs> okay. So, moving along. Um, now, Abraham Lincoln said the best way, he was trying to motivate people that didn't want to start businesses. This is in Abraham Lincoln's time. So, you imagine the crazy goatee, you know, crazy guy's feeling good, looking thin. He says, the best way to help the poor America is to not, is to not become one of them. Um, now, you must decide today that success is a choice. I want you guys just to write that down. Success is a choice. It's not luck. Thomas Jefferson said, I'm a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more luck I have. But, point is, he's just saying, the harder I work, the more opportunities present themselves. Uh, has anybody here ever done door-to-door -door sales? Like you're selling those books, those, those, those things, those dating packets. You know what I'm talking about? The things that you get them, and there's like $5 off of a $12 burger, and you're like, oh, honey, it's a sweet deal. Let's go there. The Happenings books, you know, it's like bowling coupons. Have you ever seen these things? Cheerleaders, anybody sell these? You know what I'm talking about? These coupon books, right? You go door to door, and you're like, ding dong, you're in third grade, though. So you try to look pitiful. You're like, excuse me, sir. I'm hungry. But I don't want any food. I just want you to buy my Happenings. It's just, that's all I want. You know? So what happens is, you're able to go door to door, but the more houses you go to, the more people that'll say yes, right? That's just how it goes. So Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson's just saying the more people that you cold call, the more deals you close. The more houses that you show, the more you're going to close. The more times you take your ACT, the higher you're going to score. Okay? I took it a bunch of times. Kept getting better. I got a good strategy going, a good, good batting stance the last couple times. Okay. But moving along here. Um, now, the point two is it says life requires a combination for success, okay? Life is a combination. It's like a big lock. It's a big, uh, life is a big safe. And in it, there's success, and there's just a combination to it. It's not that hard, right? If you want to get rich, just study the life of wealthy people and do what they did, and you're done. It's not that hard, right? I mean, I used to dress like, an, like, a, like, a, like a sloth. I used to dress like a sloth, looked like a sloth, you know, had the double hoop earring. I was feeling cool, but I just was poor, but okay? Like attracts like. So what I'm getting at here is... If you dress and act and think poor, you will be poor. You know what I'm saying? So if you dress poor, why would I want to give you a business loan if you came to me dressed poor? Why, you know what I'm saying? Why would I want to do that? So you got to think, look at the combination and do what they do. So let's choose a profession. If you wanted to start a, uh, let's go with a start a company that did some sort of public speaking, what would be the best way to get that off the ground. Can someone tell me where you'd start if you start a public speaking company? You wanted to make, you wanted to hot book yourselves as a motivational speaker. How would you start? Anybody? Anybody here? Try to accredit yourself. Try to accredit yourself? Make you seem worthwhile. Would it make sense to go on YouTube and maybe watch the best speakers in the world and just kind of try to copy what they did? Maybe try to do what they do and then try to maybe improve upon it? You know? Would it, or if anybody here, does anybody here play sports still? You played any college sports or anything? or? Anybody here play baseball in college or high school? High baseball? Anybody here? Baseball. Would it make sense for you to try to like develop your own pitching, like sidearm, underhand, weird concoction, like thing? Or would it make more sense to look at an established pitcher and kind of copy his form? You know? So I'm getting at is just look at the combination for the career you want to get to. If you want to get into real estate, there's a guy in Tulsa named Daryl Baskin. Wow. But studying him, you're going to get a lot farther ahead than you would if you go to like every seminar in the world and read every book because you just want to study someone who did it. You know? And, uh, okay, so again, you've got to realize life has kind of a combination to it. The third thing is that you have to understand that if you can conceive it, you can achieve it, okay? If you can conceive it, you can achieve it. 
problem is, is that most people don't conceive it, and why don't they conceive it? And it's probably not their fault in a lot of cases. Why, what keeps you from taking time, like in this class, to sit down and think? For those of you who wrote down what you want to do, and this is the first time you've done this for years, I don't know why, but why, why was it the first time you wrote it down? For anybody who wrote it down for the first time today, what you wanted to do and why. Why was it the first time? Anybody? Anybody? Why, I mean, why, why, why do people take... Henry Ford said that thinking is the hardest thing there is to do. That's why so few people do it. Okay? Uh, seriously, what does that mean, though? Why, what would keep you from sitting down and dreaming and coming up with a big plan? What would keep you from doing that? There you go. Scared of failure. So write that down. Fear of failure is one problem. Fear of failure is one problem. Could sarcasm be a problem? Like, does anybody here in this class freestyle rap? You throw it down. <laughs> we got too many Caucasians to do this. Okay. 